Hello there, it's Abby, back with another cool video and in this video I'm going to talk about 6 programming languages you must learn in order to be a super programmer. Now first of all I wanna make something clear, no programming language in the world is complete. Every programming language is built in order to solve some specific problem. Okay. So you can do everything by learning only one language. So you have to learn different languages for different purposes. Okay. So start a list. Let's start a list. The first one is of course the one and only C++. You have to have to learn this if you are going to be a great great programmer. In every in every aspect in every aspect of programming, you will find C++. And if you learn this, everything will become clear to you. If you learn C++, then it will take you just a matter of weeks in order to learn Java or C Sharp. Okay, and I recommend you to learn your career in object-oriented programming with C++. And the next is, of course, one of the most popular languages of today, that is Java. It is platform independent and of course you know about Java. <laughs> Everything is Java. You build you can build games, apps, mobile apps, web developer uh, I mean web applications and everything with Java. It's so popular. But if there was no C there was no Java. And the next one is of course C sharp, one of the most popular languages today. If you're try if you're going to get a job in developing by developing windows applications or windows games or anything for windows mobile or anything for windows then you must learn c sharp c sharp is one of the most popular languages not one of the most popular languages it is the only language you will find that is important in order to learn uh, i mean windows development and the next one is of course the one and only all times favorite the c programming language C is oldest among all this in the list and if there was no C there would have been no C++, no Java, no C Sharp. Everything has been implemented from C. Actually C++ is uh, just a superset of C and if you're going uh, C is closest to hardware so if you're going to do some embedded systems programming or write device drivers then C is what you need. The next one is Python. It is quite new language but getting very much popular with time and John uh, Python is uh, I mean it's uh, so strong and you can build everything with Python with very ease and it takes only one week in order to master Python so you can master it very quickly and the last one is of course the one and only PHP if you're really going to get into the field of web development then PHP is what you will need today PHP is one of the most popular scripting languages for web development okay so this was our list Hopefully you have uh, learned about the programming languages from this list and I hope it helps. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for watching this video and please check out my other videos for everything and thank you. Goodbye.